early on, I think it's critical that you not stay inside, that you go out and you meet your customers. And you should be able to describe your customer, right? So you should be, I've got some posters in the back of a bunch of uh, tools that we use, and so you're welcome to them. But one of them is our customer Zoom tool. And this is where you hypothesize, this is what my ideal customer looks like. What are their behaviors? What are their individual traits that relate to the problem that you're trying to solve? Where do they hang out? So where can you find multiple of them? Um, so when you're thinking about market segments, it's not about demographics. You're not going after people who are you know, males between the age of 25 and 35 and live in Barcelona and drive BMWs. That's not a market segment. What you want is a uh, market segment to be is a group of people who share the same pain or passion and then speak the same language. And by speak the same language, I don't mean that they all speak Spanish or English, but that they refer to each other to solve a problem or a passion. So you want to think about like uh, a brand as being, uh, you know, somebody, all of the people that love to bike to work is a market segment because um, they say, share that same passion. And so the thing is, is that those people that are in that market segment will look to each other for, for uh, the right kind of clothes maybe, or the quality of the bike, or where do you get your bike repaired, or all sorts of things that are related to this passion of biking to work together. And so that's how you want to think of a market segment. And you should be able to think of like, who are these people? Uh, and you can record it on a customer Zoom or, or just write it down, I don't care. And then you should be able to go where those people hang out. Could be a meetup group, right? Here's a market segment. Right here is the market segment in this room. And it doesn't matter, you know, race, age, gender, none of that matters. It matters that all the people who are here are interested in learning about startups or entrepreneurship, a lean startup. That actually is what brings you together, not all, all of the profile characteristics that we use to describe people, right? So, uh, so you go where these people hang out, you should be able to spot them from across the room. That is, that's, this person is in my market segment. And then you can have a conversation with and validate that you understand them and understand where in their day they experience the problem that you're trying to solve. And so the deeper you understand the customers and the better the relationship you start to form with them, the more likely they're gonna become loyal to you. Hypothesize, who do you think you'd be your most passionate user? Like, so you describe who you think that person is. Maybe it's somebody like yourself or your partner or what is it about you guys that love coffee that are looking for the, you know, the roll-up garage that has the, you know, the most expensive coffee in the world at? I mean, what makes people go do that? What is it about their character? Where do they hang out now? Right, so you have to figure out where they hang out and that's where you're gonna go market to. Man, to these hipsters, you know, Facebook's passe. They've already moved on. They're on something else. You gotta go, they're on Instagram maybe. So you have to figure out where they are. But it's based upon your hypothesis of who that person is, what drives them, what motivates them, where do they hang out, who are their friends, who influences their purchase, what kind of magazines do they read, what websites do they hang out on. But you hypothesize that and then you go out into the real world and try to validate it.